again this year as we're going to into the ninth assembly to make my own position clear. Because I believe that after the election, what should be paramount in our mind is Nigeria. Not party, not religious affiliation, but what we do we think is good for Nigeria. To that extent, I have been thinking, I've been watching all the experiments. Many of them have come to consult with me. Many of them have spoken to me on telephone, personal visits, both in the chamber and outside the chamber. And I feel it is necessary for me to once more make my position clear so that some of these questions people are asking can be resolved. What I'm doing is my own personal position, but when I believe in a cause, I will always want to, want to advance that cause. I believe in the, in the three C's of consultation extensively, to do extensive consultation. So this, morning, this afternoon, I've called you to make my position clear, and I'll give my reasons if you demand that. For the Senate Presidency, my position is clear. I've told those who are my friends, and I'm making it clear that I will support Senator Ahmed Lawan for the Presidency of the Ninth Senate. For the following reasons. When I came into the Senate, I took time as a student of history to study the background of most of our senators, especially the old senators. And I found out that uh, Senator Lawan has been in the National Assembly for up to 20 years, and so has gathered a lot and a lot of legislative experience in the House of Representatives and also in the Senate. Now, the President of the Senate is the Chairman of the National Assembly. He's not just the President of the Senate, but he's also the Chairman of the National Assembly. And the National Assembly, you have both in uh, the House of Representatives and, of course, the Senate. And so he understands the workings in the House of Representatives and he also understands the workings in the Senate. And so he will be able to command respect from both chambers. And so he has the requisite experience. So, secondly, since he became the Senate leader, I have found in him competence, he's competent, he's intelligent, and he appreciates the views of others. And he listens to better arguments. And so any leader who is going to sit in that chamber must be able to accommodate other person's view and must be intelligent because the president of the Senate is first among equals and so to that extent he must be able to listen and accommodate other views. So I have found that in him. Make no mistakes, I never supported my position. I supported the incumbent Senate president I have my reasons at that time, and I still have my, I still have, I think I made a good choice, but I also believe that I, this one, I'm also making a good choice in supporting him as the incumbent, as the incoming Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thirdly, and more importantly, I must give kudos to the nation, Deputy National Chairman of the APC, not. Distinguished Senator Schweigel. You see, the Senate is made up of men who have distinguished themselves in their various careers. It is not for anybody. And so you don't sit in your office or in your high heaven and dictate to them who will be their leader or who is going to 
be their boss. And most of the resistance that people are seeing from my, my own party is not because anybody is questioning Senator Lawan's competence. It's not because anybody is saying he doesn't have the experience. It's not because anybody is saying he's not intelligent. It is because we are saying that the Senate is, should be left to choose their leader. And what is the norm all over the world is that the party with the majority produces the leader of the Senate or the leader of the, whichever arm of the, of, the, of the legislature. And so what we are saying is, we are not saying that nobody has said that Lawan is not competent. But recently, or two days ago, we read that the distinguished Senator Shoaibu made a statement, and that is consoling, and that is one of the most important statements you expect from a statesman to say that the leadership must consult and negotiate with other parties. It's not you sit down in your house and tell us, we are you must be this person. Nobody says, I'm not, we're not school children. We, are, we, we, we talk without the Senate. Many of them have been former governors, many of them have been ministers, many of them have made their own points in their life. And we're going to choose our leader. And whatever we choose our leader, it's our leader, it's responsible to us and to Nigerian people. And if we find out that the person is no longer serving the Nigerian people, we have, our own, we have our own method. And so that treatment is, has made so many of us to believe that, yes, we are now talking about Nigeria. And that is why you see many people, even those who are going to support Lawan, are withdrawing, especially within my own party, saying, no, 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 you can't just sit down and tell us. We, yes, much as we agree that the leadership will come, the whoever is going to be Senate president is going to come from your party. Not for you to sit down and tell us it must be this person. Or for you to tell us, oh, he will never have anything to do with us. That is, that is, that is unstatement likely. And so, for that reason, some of us feel that, yes, we are going to, we are taking up the Nigerian. Since 1979, I've been hovering within the legislature. My political father, or my leader who taught me, was the Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Second Republic. And I was there when they were choosing, when they chose uh, 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 wires as the then Senate president. The UPN people supported him. When Saraki's father was going to be made the Senate leader, when you hear leader, leader of the Senate, go and read. It is not, leader of the Senate was an invention from Saraki's father. Because immediately he won as the Senate, as the, as the, Senate uh, the, the Senate won. The federal government at that time had not made up salaries for who is the first salary for the House of Representatives and the Senators. Sarekis father, then a senator, undertook to pay the allowances of both the members of the House of Rep and also the members of the Senate, irrespective of political parties. And when eventually the allowances were now paid and they were now going to return the allowances to him, the man said, no, take the allowances. I have already given it, donated it to all the senators. And then, this minority leader of this from UPN then now moved a motion and say he is no longer the lead, majority leader of the Senate. He is not the leader of the Senate. That is how you get the leader of the Senate. Because they were not talking about this is my party. They were talking of competence. They were talking of Nigeria. They were talking of how do we carry everybody along for the benefit of Nigeria. Not political party. Merely you win the election, what we're talking about is how do we now advance our common, the interest of Nigerian people, and that should be paramount in our position. So, my dear brothers, for these reasons, that I want to make my position clear, and I know by the grace of Almighty God, if I make a prediction after much deep thought and consultation, it's I know and I'm convinced, and I know if he emerges, he will not disappoint as the president of the Senate or the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Did, did not say. This is the candidate they want. And I know PDP will not say you this is the candidate they want. They will only give us a guideline. And I also have a right as a representative of my people, the Anyoma people of Delta State, to say this is what I think is good for my people. I am not, I'm a lawyer party man, I'm a PDP man, I want to make it clear. And I have not left the PDP, and it's not in my card, but as for the leadership of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and I know my people will be happy. 
When I decided to support the incumbent Senate president, they know what they benefited from my supporting the incumbent Senate president. And I, if I can make a choice, having lived in that environment, I have lived all my life in that environment, and I know what is good for him. I'm not a Tukumbos legislator, not a Tukumbos. I have lived my life in that envir environment of Anyoma. My mother is from there, my father is from there, my grandfather, great I am his son of the soil. And so I know what is good for them. And they have sent me here to look at what is good for them and to support what is good for them. So the interest of my people is more paramount than any interest. However, to answer your question, PDP has not told us this is the person you are going to support, and this is the person you are not supporting. And I don't think PDP will tell us that. They can only give us guidelines. Is that all right? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you to the support. Okay, thank, thank you very much. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you